James Wiseman's rookie year can be best described as a roller coaster. While he showed plenty of flashes of his high potential, there was also plenty of bad moments. Wiseman averaged 11 points and 5 boards a game. Solid numbers for a rookie, but perhaps a bit underwhelming for a number 2 overall pick. Context really matters here, as it's important to remember that Wiseman dealt with a ton of obstacles over the past couple of years. For starters, Wiseman only played three games for the Memphis Tigers before getting suspended and sitting out the rest of the college season. And with COVID pushing the start of the NBA season back, this means that Wiseman went 13 months without playing an organized basketball game. Wiseman used that time to work his tail off, but still. A year without playing organized basketball is a long time off, which would create a steep learning curve for any rookie. He also dealt with a ton of injuries throughout his first year. He missed all of preseason due to health and safety protocols. He missed three weeks in February due to a wrist injury. And he missed the last month of the year due to a torn meniscus. In total, Wiseman only played in 39 games his entire rookie year. So while his numbers don't jump out at you, Wiseman was pretty solid considering context. So now that I've given some background info on Wiseman, let's break down his game. The first strength I want to talk about with Wiseman is his shooting potential. The reason I say potential is because he isn't a good shooter yet, but he certainly can get there. One of the reasons many fans were so excited for Wiseman was because he flashed the ability to hit threes in the past, and a 7-footer that can knock down threes makes you a special talent in the NBA. On the season, Wiseman shot 32% from three, although it was on a small sample size of just one three-point attempt per game. And he also shot 37% from 15 to 19 feet from the basket. So while Wiseman is capable of hitting open jumpers from mid-range and three-point range, he isn't good at either just yet. He also needs to get better as a free throw shooter as he only shot 63% from the free throw line. Wiseman does have good mechanics and a smooth looking release, so he probably can become a good shooter in time, but this will require patience. He's not a legit stretch five as of now, but with a few more off seasons to work on his game, he probably can become a big man that can space the floor with his shooting. The next area I want to talk about is Wiseman's potential as an isolation scorer. This is another area where Wiseman showed flashes, but wasn't particularly good. When facing up, Wiseman showed the ability to hit jumpers over defenders, and when posting up, he could score over them with hook shots. But this definitely is not a strength in his game yet. On post-ups, Wiseman only scored 0.71 points per play and had a field goal percentage of just 41% on his post-ups, which is pretty bad. You can dump the ball to him in the post every once in a while, but he isn't someone that you can run offense through yet. The potential to be a good ISO player is there, but Wiseman will need to continue to work on his face-up game and his post moves. A strength of Wiseman's game is definitely his transition play. Wiseman is a very athletic player that loves to get out in transition. The Warriors rank third in the league in fast break points per game and ranked fifth in pace, so Wiseman benefited greatly from playing in an up-tempo offense. Wiseman is great at getting out on the break for lobs and dunks, and he's even shown the ability to lead the break and take it all the way to the rim himself or pass it to an open teammate. Probably Wiseman's biggest strength is his finishing around the rim. Thanks to his elite size and athleticism, Wiseman is an amazing finisher. On the season, Wiseman shot 74% within 5 feet of the basket, which is very good. He's particularly good at finishing as the roll man out of the pick and roll. Unfortunately, the Warriors didn't run a ton of pick and rolls this year, as they ranked 27th in the league in pick and roll frequency. In order to get Wiseman more involved in the offense, Kerr should run more pick and roll plays to get him some easy baskets. So as we can see, Wiseman was largely a mixed bag on offense. Defensively, Wiseman was also a mess. He's a pretty good shot blocker. He averaged a block a game and 1.6 blocks per 36 minutes. He's 7 feet tall with a 7 foot 6 wingspan, so it's pretty easy for him to block the shots of driving players. The main issue with Wiseman on defense is that he's so foul prone. He averaged 3 fouls per game and an astounding 5 fouls per 36 minutes. Too often, Wiseman would go for the block instead of staying on his feet, which led to him sending guys to the line. It's pretty common for young bigs to be foul prone, and even the league's best defensive bigs were foul prone their rookie year, but this is an area that Wiseman needs to improve if he hopes to become an elite defensive anchor. Unfortunately, 
he also had the fourth worst defensive rating of any Warrior playing meaningful minutes this season. He's got the size and athleticism to be a great defender. He just has a lot of learning that he needs to do. So as we can see, Wiseman's game is still pretty raw at this point. He certainly has potential to be an elite center, but it's just potential at this point, and he has a lot of areas that he needs to get better at. One of the things that concerns me with Wiseman is if the Warriors will have the patience to develop him. Wiseman didn't get drafted to a bad team. He got drafted to a team that still wants to win championships. Wiseman needs to be allowed to make mistakes so he can learn from them and get better, just like any rookie, but will Steve Kerr continue to give Wiseman a short leash? He only played 21 minutes a game this year, and the Warriors played their best basketball after he got injured. Will the Warriors allow Wiseman to develop, or will they package him in a trade to get an all-star? If a star player does become available, Wiseman is going to be one of the assets that the Warriors will have to give up. I do think that Wiseman has the potential to be an all-star, but he needs at least a few years of development, which perhaps may not intersect with Steph Curry's prime. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. What do you think of James Wiseman during his rookie year? And do you think he has the potential to be an all-star player? Tell me in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and have a great rest of your day.